everybody, it's Melissa from Buckeye Girls Reason Things. We are going to be making a hummingbird cake. Yes, I know. At, Shauna was worried that I was going to put feathers in this cake. Yeah. No, there will not be feathers. And there will not be feathers to garnish. I'm sorry. But it is a really good cake. This is the cake that I had at my bridal shower when I was going to get married. So, um, this is, uh, this is going to be how you make it. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Okay, we're starting off with three eggs. Oh, thank you. My hair is getting long enough, I, I decided I need something to push it back while I cook. <coughs> Yeah, no feathers. Not not this cake. I like to crack my egg separate. I hate to get a shell in the in the cake and make it a little crunchy. Just saying. Hey Nala. It's already got a can of crushed pineapple, and here's three eggs. Let's see what else we got. Wet ingredient wise, we got a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. Hey, Sandra. Has anybody ever made this cake? I got the recipe from uh, my neighbor when I lived in Mount Vernon. She's now since passed away, but this is one of her recipes she shared with me. And three fourths cup of <clears throat> canola oil. Oh, thank you for sharing, Jacqueline. Yeah, this this was one of her favorites. Oh, that's neat. This is uh, actually she made this in a restaurant um, near the college. Uh, Kenyon College in, in uh, Gambier, Ohio. She made this at a, at a, at a, well, it was a restaurant, but it's called Kenyon Inn. Just mixing it a little bit. It's a, it, <coughs> it's an old recipe. Okay, four ripe, ripe bananas. And of course, Dad left his bananas that he was supposed to take on the truck this week. That's why we are making this. The pineapple and the bananas is probably why it's called hummingbird, not the feathers that some people thought was in this recipe. By the way, if you have a garden or rose bushes, these peelings on these bananas is the best thing since sliced bread. Our rose bushes, if you want more roses, that's the best thing since sliced bread for them or in your garden. Same way with the eggshells. I grind up the eggshells and put them in my compost because my garden loves all that stuff. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Lori. Hey, Mel. Thanks for sharing. I'm going to give this a quick stir. 
And then I'm going to add a cup of pecans. And then we'll do our dry ingredients. My pineapple, I didn't use just a can of pineapple. It was actually fresh pineapple. And I uh, blended it. Because I can fresh pineapple every year. Oh, cool. Yeah, I love, my mom loves ro loved roses, and I, st I do too. Um, her secret was, was the, one can, the can of beer she puts on her, put on her roses and her, and uh, the banana peel. three cups of flour because if anybody doesn't know a can of beer will, take, will get rid of all the aphids off your roses three cups of flour and okay how much sugar do we need to go for cups of sugar. Oh, the salty crackers is to keep my sugar from getting hard. got a sore throat but I'm still I'm still living okay cinnamon I need a teaspoon of cinnamon Why is it that I only I can never find the right measurements when I'm on the line? Hey Jackie. Okay, and I'm going to whisk this together. So how's everybody else doing? Has everybody else got the flu or got this cold and stuff? Is anybody getting ready to go to the crafters convention? I seen Scott had a big had a live on it that I missed. I'll be going to that in June. Yes, that was soda, a teaspoon of soda. Oh, that's good. Hey Tracy. And I put 
and I, now I'm just incorporating all the dry ingredients slowly. We forgot to set, set the timer for uh, to 350 on our uh, to preheat our oven. And I forgot all about it. Let's scrape down the sides of our mixer. Oh, that's my clock. Every hour it sings to us. That it, it actually dances, the, the numbers dance and spin, and it sings, which you don't hear it as much in my craft room, but it's right out here in the, in the kitchen, well, it's in the living room, which the living room, kitchen, and dining room's together, so you get to hear my clock. Hey, Lisa. It, yeah, he got that for me on our first anniversary. Yes, it is very popular in the South. Ellen, hello. Hey, babe. We're baking today. Actually, I never heard about this cake until, until I, I got to be good friends with my neighbor, and this was her favorite. She was known for this cake. Everybody to ask her to make, make them this cake, so. and making hummingbird cake minus the feathers oh if you guys haven't seen here is the here is the cookbook that I made for my mom of all of our family recipes and uh, that is what I'm going to be turning into a cookbook Okay, now they have the cook baking spray where you don't have to bake it, you don't have to oil, butter, and flour your pans anymore. So that's what I did to this pan. Yeah, my apron does kind of, my spatula does kind of match my apron. So does my whisk, which that's kind of funny. I'm going to just scrape everything into the pan. And Damon's not here to watch me bake and cook today. That's interesting. He was asking for delivery la the, other, the last week I cooked. I'm sure he might want delivery this week, too. Wonder if I'd have to deliver it to Vegas or I'd have to deliver it to the warehouse. I don't know. Because this is going in the oven. Then it'll smell really good. 
Emily, do you want delivery too? Damon wanted delivery on my last video. Yeah, he's in. Yeah, Damon's in Vegas. That's what I said. Wonder if he wanted delivered to Vegas or he'd want Parker want it in the uh, in the warehouse. Yeah, this is a nine by thirteen pan. Uh, bananas and pineapple and uh, pecans is in hummingbird too. And uh, we leave the feathers out. <laughs> making a uh, hummingbird cake which it has bananas and pineapple and pecans in it and cinnamon uh, then after it bakes I just top it with a cream cheese icing and sprinkle chopped pecans on the top <laughs> Well, you guys going to the crafters convention will have to give me ideas. I was thinking about bringing some things that I, I cook along with me because we're taking the camper. Hey, Tammy. I haven't made friendship cake in a long time. But, yeah, I've heard of it. I think you have to start with a base or something. I think I used to, uh, me and a friend did that in high school. You have internet, that's good. No cherries in this one. I do make a really good cherry pie filling um, because we have an orchard. We have apples, we have cherries, we have peaches and pears and plums on, on the property. And blackberries and blueberries. Yeah, I, I posted the recipe from Pen Interest. And uh, I will also post one in the, in the comments after the video. I never done one, two, three cake. Yeah, I never, I've never made the base. I'd have to look that up, that one up. Yeah, we have an orchard, so we we're I'm always trying to think of something. What can I use with cher use cherries in? What can I use raspberries in? What can I use apple pie filling in? Because I make a ton of apple pie filling. But um, yeah. Uh, Not, nice to have you join me for for cooking today and uh, and um, yeah we do have a we have a nice orchard it it's a young orchard but it's it's really nice to have on the property and uh, thanks for joining me like and share my page Well, I do sauerkraut, and I never liked sauerkraut until I made it homemade, and now I love my homemade. And uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you all have a good day, and keep on cooking and crafting. And I'll see you Monday. Oh, thank you, Sean. I, it's an, my hair's getting to the point it's bothering me. I don't want it in my food when I cook. Hi, Val from Canada. I love Canada. We went there to visit many times. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good day. Love you.